All right, so episode four of Frasier has just dropped, so let's talk about it. Can I just say that episode three got me so excited for where this series was going, I saw a glimmer of hope and light and silver linings in that episode, and episode four, right out of the gate, just completely stopped that. Right out of the gate, the banter between Frasier, Alan, and Olivia, it's just not on par with what I'm used to. We see the crew doing a trivia night at the bar, and once again, that beautiful Disney humor just rolls on in. Cataquism! <laughs> Forgive them, Lord, for they know not anything. <laughs> <laughs> Now I know people have piped up and said that you need to embrace Frasier's new beginnings and don't get me wrong, I understand where you're coming from, but this intro just comes off as an SNL skit and Kelsey Grammer is just doing a bit as Frasier if he was celebrating a milestone in the series or hell, even doing like a Super Bowl commercial. Also, Kelsey Grammer's face after this line delivery is spot on. Aww, you're so sweet, but I'm busy this weekend. <laughs> Introducing- I will give episode four this. The Lilith line got me. My ex-wife Lilith. <laughs> I'm kidding. The Arctic Circle. <laughs> so after the trivia is over, we see that Frasier is a little bit embarrassed of Freddy's profession as a firefighter. And Freddy essentially invites him along to the fire station to see that they're not just lazy, that they're not just having a good time, but they are actually heroes putting themselves on the front line. And it's right up there with being a psychiatrist, much like his old man. And of course, hijinks and shoes and... David is there. Now, I really like David in episode one and two, three, eh. Episode four, you lost me, mate. He's just that dumbed down Disney Channel version, How I Met Your Mother humor, and he just comes off as a pest at this stage. There's a bloke stuck in a dog door and Frasier has to calm him down with his psychiatrist techniques. That happened. Now there is a nice little moment with Frasier and a Dalmatian. It's a nice little throwback to how Frasier and Eddie used to have a stare off. It was nice. <laughs> Now there's a nice little bit of clever writing where David alludes to Freddy's fellow firefighters that Niles and Daphne have possibly died. And they see him as an orphan, but it kind of just goes nowhere. I see them trying to emulate that episode called The Matchmaker, where the new station manager Tom has a thing for Frasier, and it, it, they try to emulate that and it just falls flat on its face. Now there is almost a sweet little moment between Frasier, Freddy, and some four alarm chili, but like that story beat with David, just falls flat. The saving grace of this episode is a nice one-on-one -on -one between Frasier and even he confides in her that the reason why he doesn't like Freddy being a firefighter is because of how stressed himself and Niles were as kids when Marty would go out on a shift when he was part of the force. Like I said, episode three really got me excited and I thought the series is going in a nice direction now, but episode four just completely wiped that off the map for me. The series seems to be suffering from a major identity crisis and it's unsure of what direction it honestly wants to take. The only consistent thing is Kelsey Grammer, but even Frasier suffers from a strange bout to dialogue it just seems extremely out of character at times. Four episodes down, six to go. Love you guts, and I'll catch you in the next one.